is it? How's your, uh, how's your uh, McLaughlin group doing? Good. How Program many is strong. We're leading the market in several areas here in Washington. Chicago's doing well. St. Louis, Atlanta. We're on uh, NBC owned and operated stations in New York, Cleveland, Los Angeles, and Washington, D.C. We're on 200 PBS stations. I hope the viewing audience and you distinguished cable operators here, uh, whom I'm so happy to be with, is I can tell them good marketeers are present. It just creates kind of its own electricity and warmth. You know, you see, many of us preach capitalism, but I like to be with people who practice it, right? <laughs> I hope the listening audience, if they don't see my program on your local PBS station, just pick up the phone and do what George Bush said he did to Geraldine Ferraro. Kick a little dust with those, with those uh, managers of those PBS stations. The show has been written up, by the way, last week in New York Magazine. We got a good review there. There's going to be an article on us in uh, Time Magazine. They, they're talking to us. I think they're trying to get even with Kondracki, because he's a, a regular on the program, and he's Bureau Chief of Newsweek. Uh, then we're going to be in Esquire magazine. That's coming up. We're all holding our breath. We don't know what they're going to say about us, but that'll be an extensive article. And Gentlemen's Quarterly's got a piece coming up. So we're getting a little national publicity. The program is finally being recognized for the, for the greatness that is inherent in it. <laughs> Are you going to be on the cover of uh, Gentlemen's Quarterly? I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have a reputation to sustain. <laughs> Dave Oman is with us from Heritage in Des Moines. Our first call is from that city. Go ahead, Des Moines, Iowa. Well, I had the pleasure of interviewing Pat last Sunday on television. You know, Pat was the UFO of the White House. You occasionally got sightings of him. He, he had so disappeared from view. But he did come out and he did the program, and I sense in Pat a uh, certain impatience, and I wouldn't be, be surprised to see him leave, uh, certainly by uh, shortly after the elections this year, maybe earlier, but I'm not predicting what he's going to do. You had a question. Uh, yes, sir. I'm a uh, Iowa representative for civilian military. I ask you about your program, the McLaughlin Group. That, please do. Uh, there is no topic that I would rather address than that, with the possible exception of my other television program. One -on -one. Which no one can see except those of us. Well, it's up, on the, it's, up, it's up on the PBS satellite now. Oh, good. Uh, let me ask you about that program. When you all go at each other on that show, does it ever go over the line that when after that show's over, there's a little bit of friction between them? No, usually it stops at the water's edge, which is the end of the program. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've seen people on that show really become quite, uh, quite angry, and you don't know whether you're at the, almost at the fisticuff level. I've seen that happen. Uh, it's not, it's a show of temper. It ha it, I'll tell you when we went through a difficult time. Is that one when the Marines were over in Lebanon? That was a sensitive time. Las Vegas, Nevada, next call. Go ahead, please. Good morning. Good morning. You all right? John, is your coffee cold there? It's a little cold, as a matter of fact. Yeah, Lamb says he's going to take care of me here, but you know. No, on your this life. is C SPAN, low budget stuff. <laughs> <laughs> John, I'm calling. This is probably the first letter I've good people go to church up and down the aisle every Sunday. Of course, I don't know what they do during the week. Well, they also. <laughs> I go to church too, but. That's like the moral majority. The moral for the majority of the time. Uh, you also have you also have compulsive gamblers who are sitting in the steps of those church practically every morning, maybe a half a dozen or a dozen, yep. try, trying to get a handout so they can make their way back to Los Angeles. Uh, however, on the subject of a national lottery, I'll address that. You know, there used to be such a thing. You'd know about this, Brian, in view of your ethnic heritage, which I know you're very proud of. You just can't wait for St. Patrick's Day to get here, can you? <laughs> Not fair. I'm half English. Are you half English? Sure. Uh, My mother's English. Doesn't that make me half English? Well, it does. does but I'll never breathe that to a soul. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, there used to be such a thing called the Irish sweepstakes. Remember that? We got your coffee for you this morning. In Thank case you very much. You're right. solving us anymore, yeah, right? don't, don't think that's going to take the place of my check. Uh, anyway, uh, Brian, um, you remember the Irish sweepstakes? No. That created a lot of international, national elan, high spiritedness. Even in New York, there was a fellow up there 